from the Road Fools Europe. We took seven Americans and one Canadian, flew them over to England, added three livid Englishmen, one Spaniard and two Germans, crammed them all in the bus, and stumbled around the old world on an adventure of a lifetime. The schedule was loose, and so were the riders, hitting France, Germany, Holland, Belgium, and England during an eight-day whirlwind tour. Everything was documented, the riding, the sights, the sounds, and whatever else we encountered along the way. So sit back and enjoy, and let's meet the riders. Hello, my name is John Emery. Suddenly aware that the son of California was not properly represented. 24 years old, out of Santa Barbara, California. The call went in for SoCal's lover, of all that ends in fakie, to join the parade. This is my first Road Fools. Sean was spreading the ways of California to foreigners everywhere, and he kept his romance with Fakies alive on his first ever overseas adventure. Thank you. Sean Emery. My name is Marcus Wilke. Perhaps the world's happiest German. This is my third Road Fools. Marcus busted out consistent half caps and other original street moves from Belgium to his hometown in Germany. I'm 25 years old, from Zoltau, Germany. When he wasn't keeping the Americans in line by showing them how to do their tricks, he was helping the troops navigate their way across the foreign lands. And I'm doing it for Team Zoltau. Markus Wilke. Hi, I'm Adam Banton. Deciding there was room for one more tech mini ramp ride, a call was made to this Ohio transplant. This is my first Red Bull, 25 years old. When he wasn't arguing with Freiman or cleaning his braces, Adam was wowing the crew with his unique half cab approach to park riding. I'm from Manassas, Virginia. And his ridiculous sense of humor. And I like to play my guitar. Adam Banton. Hi, my name is Chris Bennett. The veteran road fool returned with a full beer and a pension for Tech Street and Grant I'm 21 years old. I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. This is my third road fool. Trying to keep his temper under control, levels finally flared as he sent his bike again and again down the cobblestone streets of the old world. I came to get pissed off and throw my bike. Chris Bennett. Uh, my name's Dave Freiman. Back for yet another road fool. Dave properly initiated the new recruits with constant verbal harassment and true Freiman spirit. I'm a Scorpio from Appleton, Wisconsin. When not mesmerized by the revealing foreign billboards, Dave shredded his way through Europe and spread his ways of American mini ramps to land afar. And this is my third road from this trip. Dave Freiman. My name's Ian Morris. Clacking in at barely five feet, the Federal Bikes owner from Wales took it hard on the handrail early in the trip. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Hastings, England. When he wasn't busting huge feebles on a broken foot, the Ginger Ninja was up till dawn down in Swallies and dancing his heart out to Donna's summer hands. And it's my first row fools, Ian Morris. Oh, my name is Leland Thurman. I'm 25 years old. With a perm fresh out of the blower, Leland came on the trip with only one mission, to party. I basically came on this trip to go to Amsterdam and uh, shred the ledges of Europe. When he wasn't being introduced to alternative French culture, he was taking it on feeble grinds and enjoying himself to no end, deep in the red light district of Amsterdam. I don't know. Here I am. Leland Thurman. Tom Fitz. The first road fooler to ever rock grunge hair. I'm 30 inches tall, born in Penzance, England. Fitz, a.k.a. Street Fish, added further credibility to his born-to-be-wild status. This is my first road fools. Full throttle the whole way. The laughing pirate walked the plank with tucked snow hands from Paris to London. I guess I come to just laugh. <laughs> Fitz. Hi, this is Alex Bender. German tech machine chilled on the DL, an ultra-low profile mode throughout the trip. This is my first road food tour in Europe. When not shading off with groups of sketchy ladies on any given night, Alex quietly shredded the foreign landscapes with untouched German precision. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Hamburg, Germany. Alex Bender. Hi, I'm Nathan Wessel. Joining yet another road fools as a writer and filmer, Sergeant Wessel again headed the troops to ravenous street gaps and lived up to his do one good thing a day stake. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Bay Village, Ohio. When he put down his beloved TRV 900, the retired pole vaulter kept in true shade fashion by creeping out the back streets in search of the best kept secrets of Europe. I came on this trip to film and uh, ride a little bit, of course. Nathan Wessel. Oh, my name is Van Homan. The East Coast Thrasher wowed his fellow Americans and Europeans alike with a non-stop riding mission to destroy all that is street worthy. 20 years of age, um, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Van gapped his way through Holland and wall tapped himself into the hearts of Germany, leaving nothing rideable untouched. And this is my third Road Fools experience. Van Homan. Hi, I'm Dave Osado. The Canadian biker with the build of a football player unleashed his power in the form of seemingly impossible tech street moves. I'm 
23 years old from Vancouver, Canada. Spraining his ankle early in the trip, Dave let his golden locks flow and kept a safe watch on the crew as they ventured into the shady streets of Amsterdam. And this is my very first road fool. Dave Lozano. Hi, my name is Dean Hearn. Fresh off a detailed regiment of pint point, Winston, the English gentleman, skipped his afternoon tea and biscuits for one heck of a trek across Europe. I'm 20 years old. This is my first road falls. When he wasn't fighting off rodents in the Paris ghetto, he was keeping the crew in good spirits with his original phrases and humor. I'm from Ashford in Kent in England. Dean Hearn. My name is Ruben Alcantara. The Spanish answer to bike control. The crazy chicken returned to his native European lands for a hefty gap to shark's fin. I'm from Malaga, Spain. I'm living in Austin right now. Riding with badly bruised legs the entire trip, Poyo still joined in on the sessions, lofting himself to new heights with his mind-blowing style of control. And this is my first proof. Ruben Alcantara.
day one, Euro Road Fools. We're in Paris. Today was just amazing. Today was completely ridiculous. Like, Ruben and Asado were just in a world of their own. Asado did a manual to tail whip. Perfect to the pit, that was like, unbelievable. What can you say more than that? We cruised on and actually found a nice uh, double kink stair ledge grinder. Alex hit it up, pulled it clean, second try, and then uh, Luscious stepped to the task. And so Leland just went for it, hugged the tree a couple of times, and then he pulled it, that was cool. We're getting drunk tonight, guys. Wanted to try some bank the rail, but I uh, ended up wrecking on a uh, feeler run and got all pissed off. And Went down to the subway to go further into the city where Van found a ledge that he wanted to try. Van found this crazy rail in the subway and he tried it. I thought that was pretty intense. Tried it a few times, but then we kind of got kicked out, so we had to move on. Earlier on in the day, we were in the ghetto. It was just a crazy maze of cobblestone hips and berms, embankments. Just endless mounds of humps and bumps. and It was really fun, but uh, I don't know, there were a lot of crazy little ghetto kids all around. A thousand little rodent kids just running around, screaming and shouting and yelling and screaming. Getting in our way, we was almost running kids over. Talking to us in French, we didn't understand a word they were saying. They went crazy when Dean crashed. I ended up crashing once and I've never heard so many kids scream that loud in all my life. They were just excited to see someone go down. Nate found this really cool gap that we sashed for a little bit. It made for a good time. We gapped the manual it. Uh, some dude just parked his car in the middle of the gap and so we just jumped it. Van jumping over some guy car. Today was really fun day. Like in this city we find really good places to ride, like amazing places. Like I thought for a minute I was like another planet. I find this gap. Unbelievable, I don't know. I can't even describe it how crazy it was. I thought that was possible but I was scared to try nothing hard because my legs was hurting, my food is really bad. I was kind of scared because I didn't ride like a month and a half. Ruben did this ridiculous gap over a triangle into a shark fin. I see Ruben do one of the most amazing things pretty much ever, hopping over this rail thing into some kind of sharks. Fin. What can you say? It's just out of hand. That was fucking retarded. <laughs> just so good to see stuff like that in real life, you know? I tried a couple of times, made it. I'm really happy about it. Ruben yeah, and Asado do not have to ride the rest of the trip. Ross Street really isn't my thing. I'm more of a park dog. Tomorrow when we go to Germany, I plan on shredding that place and busting all sorts of gnarly moves on the coping. Day two, Germany. Finally got out of France. Food's better, girls are cuter. It's just all around better, actually, that's the right street.
coming for it. rather today. Day two, we went and rode my hometown Cologne, Germany, which was really rad. We rode street first. The cities of Europe was like skate parks. We found some different obstacles to ride. Masato checked out this really big ledge, pretty tall. He, he tried it. It looked like he just went straight to double peg, flipped over. Kind of landed on his feet, rolled his foot, broke it. Hopefully it'll only be a day or two and he'll be ripping again. Since always, I enjoy it a lot watching driving Dave Framos. He's been pulling really technical, technical style, that's awesome. The anger management class is where I'm working, I had to join Bennett. Come to my world! I wasn't coming across with the maneuvers, so I had to be taught a bit of a lesson, but it came through in the end, so that was good. Um, got to go to Busy P, did some feebles. Took myself out on a rail today, just did a good feeble, and I was like really psyched and then I just got too carried away. Then we rode a skate park and Ruben just ruled the skate park. Ruben pretty much owned the evening.
hype. Today is day second. This tree is doing really, really fun for me. We're in Cologne, Germany. Today's been rocking. Witness poetry in motion. Hey, what's out of all the, I don't know. Art, that's all it is. Well, what can I say, Ruben? Conversation, the wall ride. How can I do that? Ruben did a 540 wall ride. That's the second person I've seen ever seen do that. First person was Craig Campbell back in the day. Insane. I try, a start I always have in my mind, but I never find the right spot to do it. I pull it and I'm happy. Wow. Can you say more? Day three, Dusseldorf. Uh, we went to a university that pretty much was straight out of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Crazy transitions everywhere. More brick than I've ever seen in my whole life. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, what? Is that right? University slash skate park. There were just banks and quarter pipes and just crazy stuff that I've never seen anywhere in my life. Some kind of architectural masterpiece. I don't know what the guy was thinking when he designed that place. Dusseldorf. Mm, we found some stuff. <laughs> we went to Dusseldorf to ride some street. It's a crazy spot like you normally don't ride. Bangs, brick bangs, everybody had a different style, it was really good. Like everybody was doing good stuff. Except for Leland. Trying to uh, do this feeble, it was just killing me, I was on my back, just laughing. And he just couldn't do it, like 15 tries all day, and he's so bummed. <laughs> just kept on taking it. It doesn't make sense, because he did that a huge double kink ledge, and then he couldn't do like a three foot one. Fuck that fucking leg! Uh, I was trying to trick for a really long time until uh, apparently Marcus decided he had seen enough, because he came over and just 
pulled it second try. And just to rub it in, he had to do it one more time. So pretty much put an end to all that. They frame was it really cool. Then we over some weird step up, down, and we find it very home and full energy all day riding, doing some crazy sketchy, sketchy rail. He almost died once, he didn't care, he pulled it. Pretty much everyone just shredded. Alex did like a cool over to grind, back into the tranny and got back from the doctors. Uh, ended up dislocating my uh, baby toe and fracturing a bone or two and um, they couldn't ride. But I got to do a lot of other stuff, like fix everybody's bikes. I don't know, hopefully uh, I'm on the 24 hour healing plan, so maybe in a day or two I'll be able to ride. Later on we found some really good hips and Nate was just blasting off of them. Adam did a really awesome downside tail up over him and that was really good. I did a few things I'm happy with. Stop shining my braces, I know you're doing it. <laughs> Nate Wester I think did was the coolest thing. The Cool gap, like some really hard, weird training to another transition over the stairs, like really impressed. Hoyo today just stepped it up. I uh, was kind of intimidated by a, a red rail and just, he wasn't convinced he could do it. And I don't know, Nate and I kind of talked him into it and he just fired it off. Dialed first try. Bender on the trip, did his uh, third rail ever. Switch. Fucked up. Um, messed up. Uh. <laughs> I'm sore, um, but saw a lot of good stuff there. It was just a really good day. Hopefully tomorrow will be a good day as well. I reckon that's it. Day four European road calls, we're in Limburg. Started off today with a little go-kart racing. This go-kart track was sick. Like, they had full jumpsuits, fully suited up from head to toe, full face helmets, gloves. Little gasket things they put on your head, in case you catch on fire or something. We all headed out on the track for 10 minutes, and uh, it was good. It was my first time in go-karts in a while, but I was passing people. I wasn't the slowest guy on the track, you know what I'm talking about. I was driving into the pit stop and yeah, Fitz hit me. It was pretty funny, everyone was crashing in that. And I think uh, Masato ended up winning the competition. You know, we made the podium and uh, you know, I was holding first down, so. Then we rode the Coliseum skate park. We came to these crazy skate park, like super fun. It's a shame we only get to ride it for a day. I mean, Really smooth, really good mini run with heat. It's just something you can ride forever.
Day four, Road Fools Europe. Road skate park in Lindbergh. I don't even know where to start. So much stuff went down today. It was very cool to see Saro riding again. It's a little bit taking it easy. I hope he will be good for the next day or something. And Nate was trying this 360 to jump, a backwards grind. Tried it a bunch of times. He pretty much had it once, but took a little digger, bounced his jaw off the, uh, off the rail. Alex rode really well today. Did a bar spin to ice peak on the support. Biggest airs I've probably seen in I don't even know how long. Doing every trick I could ever think of. Adam did really good today too. He had some really tech bombs, flow of the place like he's a local. The level of riding today was insane. At one point, like later in the night, I was standing on the deck. Frymouth was doing tail whip rock and rolls. I uh, did a trick I've been wanting to do for a long time. Tail whip to sprocket, 180. And then I look behind the mini ramp we're riding and Ruben is trying tail whip to feeble grinds down the ledge. Poyo did a, or tried to do tail whip to peg grind on a grind bar. Took it, got a 100% commitment from Ruben. Just determination, that's all you can say. Tried it again, took it again. Pretty much sent himself, but you know, he's, he could totally do it. I'm sure he'll do it by the end of the trip. Van Holman almost destroyed the park. Van did this wall tap. It was kind of, it was a little high. Uh, it was incredible that he did that. If we leave him dry like a couple hours more, he probably turned down the drums. Nate was riding pretty crazy for just working on the trip, I don't know. Seems to me like he's doing ri some riding, even though he claims not to be, but uh, he did an awesome manual on the roof of some room. I'm not sure how to explain it. I guess you'll have to see the video. Nate did a really good manual on this roof thing, just once again finding some original stuff. Ramp fish was out today as opposed to street fish. Going spins over everything he could see as usual. Fizz was riding the hips. Fizz was destroying the hips. Flats, like seven flats from hanging up, getting like seven feet. It was just, it was beautiful. Ben and Van jumping this crazy little thing into a mini ramp. I guess we sessioned that and that was super fun. It felt like kind of like trails or something. Um, at one time, Bennett was jumping the rail and I was like underneath him with a, with a light and I had to go like this. Whoa. And he was just, his, his front wheel was right here. Just an amazing park. Everybody was just going crazy. It was really good. After everybody just shredded this gnarly park, we're chilling out and uh, I won't mention any names, but a few riders that were on the trip uh, were inlining and they were shredding the park just as good as they could on their bikes, Van Holman. A lot of people were really skating, I mean biking. The way they were doing both really good, Sean Emery. So it was a really good day, like everybody had fun and uh, luscious. Alex got the smart idea. He's like, Adam, I want to go drop in, push me. And I was trying to push everybody around anyway, just see him fall. So first time I tried to push Alex up, he just seriously almost face plants to flat bottom. Somehow he got out of it pretty easy. Second time, shoved him right up there. He's a little guy, so it was just like, and he dropped in. He pretty much did it. So I think he turned pro today. He was skating good.
Day five, a um, couple of us got up early, tried to beat the rain. Went to this concrete skate park, that was fun, had lots, lots of hips, spines, good manual lines, we rode that for like two hours. for breakfast, no problem. Then it started raining. Most people went to Amsterdam to party the night away. Uh, the trip shadier crew took off and went to Amsterdam for the night. Everything that you was true. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed up all night uh, talking about weird things. Where does like vocabulary come from, man? Like thinking about life, you know. There's nothing you can do about it, man. It's just gonna happen. How things really work. Come just say it, the first thing that comes in your mind. <laughs> For four hours, I think I, I made everyone think I was crazy. It was the craziest place I think I've ever been. Shadiest place, too. Van Wessel and Marcus went to the skate park. We were for like half an hour. To an indoor skate park. Just rode there until late hours of the night. We're super friendly. They put up plywood against the wall so we wouldn't break them. So we could do some wall rides. Then just went off again, did the craziest scab I've seen in a while. From the spine to the lip of the box, it was pretty crazy. Nate did a really good wall ride out of a seven foot transition, super high, I was stoked on that. Yeah, locals were really cool. Took care of us and made for a good time. Day six, Brussels, sprouts, went to a skate park. Uh, it had neon lights up front with uh, roller skates and stuff, so they had a little area for roller rinkers and whatever you wanted to do. Walked in and it was by far like the biggest 
room ever. It was like as big as a hangar or something, an airplane hangar. Day six, Brussels, day six, Brussels, <laughs> we're in Belgium. <laughs> we ended up going to a skate park because of the bad weather yet again. It looked real good, but when you actually rode it, it was all really weird, coping sticking up everywhere. Uh, there was a couple good things though, like there was a perfect hit, like a 90 degree hit to wedge that was like six feet tall. I think everyone liked that a lot. Then it was doing fun look backs and look backs and just had a ball on it. I could have rode that thing all day. Alex was doing some good stuff, just totally tearing the park to pieces. And Marcus did a good 180 revert type thing on the mini ramp. I was pretty psyched on that because he just did the 180 like every single time. That was the hardest part, if you ask me. Adam rode really well today. 
He did like a whiplash nose wheelie across the mini ramp deck. That was really nice. Um, did lots of all the other techno stuff too. Wrote a little bit of vert with uh, Adam. I was psyched on this uh, 360 tail tap thing that was on like two vert ramps back to back. I was just happy about that. Osada was back in action today, doing some tail whips, tail taps. Got to ride some mini with Prime at the bit, and that was kind of good. Dave did a crazy poofanu on a sketchy fence behind the mini ramp. I'm a rail mate on a matchstick. Just thought that thing was going to break, it was creaking and stuff. Lost his foot, I'm still tearing it up. It was, uh, it was a good time. Just psyched I got to ride a little bit, even though my foot is still killing me. Fizz was, I mean, Mark was shredding his skateboard. But that's about it, but it's, it's good to be in Belgium when I make the Stella. Peace. Okay, this is day seven, Road Fools Europe. We went street riding today in Brussels, Belgium. All around downtown, saw some really cool old buildings, churches, stuff like that. It was pretty amazing to just be cruising around. We got everybody's bikes fixed up and we headed out. Day seven, Brussels, Belgium. Uh, crazy old city, lots of brick, rough stuff. We've probably been getting a little spoiled on this trip with a lot of the places we've been riding, with all kinds of banks and stuff all around in the same place. And so we just pretty much cruised about today. Just basically found feeble ledges everywhere. Came up upon uh, quite a few big ledges. Sean and uh, Freyman, they were trying this one really big ledge. So I was just really fast for a while. Uh, a lot of people tried them, only a few made it successfully. Some people tried a couple of big crazy ledges until some guys showed up. Started yelling at us, babbling in like seven different languages until we picked up on English. One thing was nice is I was uh, checking out a feeble. A little out of my range, but I figured I'd check it out anyway. Policeman shows up. To our disbelief, he actually reversed and got out of the way. Uh, it didn't go down smoothly, but it was nice that the police were actually letting us do it, actually wanting us to do this. It was kind of a slow day. I was feeling a bit under the weather, so I just took it easy. Dave Asado, manual to King's Ledge, which was very impressive. It was a super big drop on the other side. Pretty dangerous. Uh, I filmed it, so it probably looks pretty good. 
No, it was completely it ridiculous. Fun. I couldn't believe it, but pulled it perfect. It was awesome. Found two bowls and a spine out in the middle of nowhere. Spine together in the middle, right in the middle of town. It was kind of odd. Uh, session that for a while with Dave and Wilkie. It was awesome. Just had the best time. Dave was doing opposite 360 nose picks and 540 nose picks, you name it. We rode that for a while. Ruben just chilled. He was hurting, so he just chilled and ended up falling asleep, just relaxing. A little bit of a relaxed day. Just did a little bit of sightseeing, a little, some tourist stuff, but it was fun. Day 8, Road Fools Europe, started out the day near London at a park called Romford. It was this awesome cement park with uh, old school 70s uh, snake runs. It was a bit windy but the weather held out. It had endless amounts of cement bowls and half pipes and just everything. It was crazy. I haven't seen anything like that before. Pretty much one of the places I've been just dying to go on the whole trip. Just different than a normal park. A lot of good lines and stuff. Nate was just doing a lot of crazy stuff. Just riding the park like it was a set of trails. It turned out to be a great day in England, which seems to be a very rare thing. I saw Bennett chuck his bike a couple times, that was cool. Dave and Dave, Asado and Frymouth were riding the vert. I'm not sure what it would be called, about a, I guess it was an actually a half pipe. There was no uh, flat bottom or anything, and Dave and Dave were just 
tearing it up, that was awesome. Saw Dave like riding the vert half pipe, doing nose picks and stuff. That was pretty crazy because that vert half was just unbelievable hard to ride. It was pretty deadly though, like if you fell down, you couldn't play around too long on it because if you fell, you were done. Everybody made fun of me because I rode the four foot spine and all the tough ass Americans rode the deep bolts and I couldn't handle that, so I did my tail taps. It must have been rat weight or saying because all the kid, all the little ratty kids were off school and finally brought out some t-shirts and we ended up making the kids roll around in a puddle and like they seemed like they was having fun you know and they got their free t-shirts so pretty much everyone was happy. Just had a good time outside because we haven't ridden outside for a day or so. After that we went to Radlands Park in Northampton in England. Real good park, the owner's real cool as well. Let us stay here till you know way later than we should have done. Once again, Dave Asado just killing it. It was awesome to see him just completely shred this place. Upside down grinds, like dialed, just nailing them, sticking everything. Unbelievable, manuals the tail whips, downside grinds, basically whatever he wants to do, he does. Regardless of the fact that his foot is broken, I was pretty psyched to be riding again and just not fully 100%, but you know, he's going full force for me. Later on in the evening, Dean Hearn tried forever to do some ice pick and managed to do it in the end and my bike was a little beat up after that so I decided to throw it anyway and uh, just by pure chance it ended up almost killing Bennett. All for the good of bike throwing so that's the only person it would have landed on if any so that was pretty funny. He got out unscathed. <laughs> a lot of fun. Good to just hang out at the park with a cool owner you know and like yeah probably be allowed to do what we want. And then um, that's about it. Wrapped up at the skate park. I'm gonna start talking here in a minute, man. So just everybody do their own thing. Adam's fun to watch. Because Adam's on his own little mission, man. <laughs> Okay, this is the end of the trip. Um, this trip has been more than I even thought it was going to be. What do you want to know about Adam's secret? Only Adam can tell us the answer because it's his secret. We just checked out a bunch of awesome sites. Uh, everybody rode awesome. I was honored to even come on this trip. I hope I can make it on another one sometime. Only Adam knows the answer to his question. You know? That's it. It was a great trip. Enjoy the video. I'm in the water, and it's just a big cliff, and I got one leg ashore, man. Trip was awesome. I had an awesome time. There's always cars that I just on myself. Saw things that I'll never forget in my whole life, which, I don't know, that's the best part of traveling, if you ask me, so it was great. Like, I'm going down a hallway, and I can't choose. It was a very good trip. Which way to go? Like, everybody got along really well. We rode a lot of interesting new places that nobody's ever even seen before. A lot of different type of street stuff instead of just your average 
ordinary everyday rail or ledge. But I can't get out there to the island, man. I, like, I can't get to shore. It was just awesome to have the opportunity to ride these new places. Hold on. <laughs> a couple injuries were holding some people back a little bit, but it didn't seem to matter at all because everybody still just rode amazing. It was an awesome trip, and I had a lot of fun. I don't know. See, that's the problem. <laughs> that's what I can't figure out. Trip's over. What's the secret? I can't, I'm not supposed to tell you. Pretty unbelievable trip. Saw some really amazing riding. Um, witnessed some stuff that never seen done on a bicycle before. <laughs> Just happy to see all the sights of Europe. There's not a damn thing you can do. Now it's over and uh, we're going home. Nothing. This is the end of the European Road Foods Tour. Dude, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just... <laughs> I had a lot of fun with all the guys riding every day, all the different spots. It was a lot of fun for me. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye. Auf it. And you keep fighting. And you keep fighting. Trip's over now. Had a good time. Hey, Paul, uh, Boris, on the bike. Yo. <laughs> um, apart from being hurt. I don't know. I can't decide if I'm zoning or not. I thought Paris was amazing. Dusseldorf, Cologne, all that stuff was good. Just a shame I got hurt, but it was just good to hang out with people, riding with good riders, and just seeing good stuff being done. Man, you just got this big menu. I had a good time. <laughs> it's so hard to decide what you want to eat. <laughs> We're on our way home shortly, probably tomorrow. The battle of life, I'm fighting. Uh, it was an amazing trip, quite honored to be on it. It's just like to live, you gotta do it, man. Like... Uh, incredible riding all over. Street riding, skate parks. I've probably ridden more in the last two weeks than I have in the last year. Fighting clawed, man. I have to say it's a very successful trip. I, I'm trying to get home. Rode a lot of good spots. The riding level was just amazing. Everybody was going off. It was nice to meet everyone, get to know each other. That's what this whole trip's about. I'm stoked that I got picked to be on the trip. And this is it. I can't get home. <laughs> Bye bye. I can't get home right now if I possibly wanted to. Road Fools is finished. Um, I'm kind of upset about that because I could go on a lot longer. You don't so well, I'm stuck here. <laughs> Good to meet all the people and ride with everyone. I mean, I met a few before, but not everyone, and they're all super cool. And We're in a big library. Thanks for letting me be part of it and bringing me along. <laughs> the library of life. This trip is over. Not that one, that one's complicated. <laughs> um, I can say it's one of my best trips I've ever had. Uh, actually, I would be riding a little bit more. I just had it in my third or fourth day. Couldn't ride, but I have fun anyways, hanging out with all those guys. I wish you guys were on the same planet as I am right now, man. I had a really good time. Life is great. It's hard to describe. Bye. I think you're crying. I am crying, I'm crying. Don't, don't touch me, please don't touch me. Please, Adam. Let's go outside. Oh yeah, let's go outside. Go ahead. Let's go outside. Amazing trip. Just had a lot of fun. Got to meet a bunch of new people that I hadn't met before. And I don't know if I can get out that door. It's one step in your own. Man, I don't know. It's like, no, it's like I'm jumping from the plane. Everyone got along really well. And it's good when that happens, you know, like people you totally don't know, you just end up hanging out with them and having a lot of fun. No, 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 fucking Stonehenge! <laughs> Fids and Liam just keeping me laughing the whole trip. So many swallies, yeah! Got to ride a lot of different places I hadn't ridden before, you know, a lot of street stuff, just different, you know, like, rather than just rails and ledges and whatnot. And it's so hard to think about things right now. <laughs> had a lot of fun. And Wish it could go on a bit longer, but oh well. There's so much traffic in that line. That's about it. I'm on a street, and a busy street. A busy street that I can't get across. This trip has been one of the best trips I've ever been on. Everybody just got along great. I had a lot of fun hanging out with everybody. I can't get to a Where are you going? Dave! <laughs> and there's cars passing by. Like... Kind of bombed. I hurt my foot. Rode at the end of the trip for a couple days, so I was psyched to just ride some more and ride with everybody. Dude, watch out for that box. Hopefully I'll be able to go on another road full sometime. Going to hang out with one of the locals over here. That's about it. I can't believe I actually got to come on three of these things. Don't ask me how I got on it. 
A lot of wild stuff gone down. You made it. What you, how, was the, how was the traffic? Yeah, I'm on a whole different page now, man. I'd like to thank my hair designer, uh, Ridge Johnson, for helping me out with my perm. Kids, you're at home. You're pissed off probably because I'm here once again, but, you know, take it. Whatever, I'm here. But now it's a whole different book. I'll see you guys.